I was shocked to learn that pads, tampons, and other menstrual products are taxed as luxury goods. I suspect it's because men were making the laws. Right, Mr. President, men made the tax laws. 50 years ago, German lawmakers, who were all men, decided to tax feminine hygiene essentials like tampons with the highest rate of 19%, but things like caviar, oil paintings or truffles with only 7%. So tampons are the real luxury? Menstruation is luxury? Breaking the law wasn't an option for the female company. An online shop for feminine hygiene products. So how could we sell tampons for 7% instead of 19%? We outsmarted the law with the law itself by selling tampons packaged as a book because books are also only taxed with 7%. Hello to The Tampon Book. A book that is a packaging for tampons to save taxes. A book that is a provocative message of existing gender inequality in our tax system. The book sold out within a day. The second edition within a week. It put the unfair tax system on the agenda of national and international media. 1650 Euro Steuern zahlt jede Frau in ihrem Leben nur für Tampons. We sent the tampon book to all politicians in Parliament. Germany's largest drugstore chain decided to sell the tampon book. The petition on change.org got more than 150,000 signatures. A broad alliance of influencers, media and politicians increased the pressure on the government. With success, on the 7th of November 2019, the German Parliament abolished the tampon tax once and for all. Zukünftig wird für Tampons und andere mit der monatlichen Periode verbundenen Hygieneprodukte endlich statt 19 der verminderte Mehrwertsteuersatz von 7 gelten. Therefore, the tampon book is the first advertising campaign to cause a change in German law. No, no, no. We're not going to take any of those. Europe's migrant crisis spiraling out of control. Everybody is talking about refugees in Europe, but for the wrong reason. Please don't come. Politics and press exploit the situation for strategic ambitions. By doing so, they're forgetting the most important of all aspects. It is important to remember that it's not about numbers, it's about people. To re-inject humanity into the current debate, Sea Watch applied a bold twist of perspective. Lifeboat, the experiment. Based on experiences of refugees we've interviewed, we set up a simulation attempting to remodel all conditions of a real escape. There is absolutely no room. Hungry, no food. The world's talking, making uh, like this. We've let 40 participants representing European society in age, gender and profession undergo only a fragment of what it takes to cross the Mediterranean. For five hours they experienced fear, hunger, stress and insecurity to be afterwards confronted with the actual dimension of the crisis. Although we all knew it was absolutely safe, some of us began to cry and even panic. It's very frightening, even knowing I could abort at any time. An integrated PR campaign drove attention to the experiment and the documentary short captioned by Oscar-nominated director Sky Fitzgerald. If we are able to change even one person's perception of the refugee crisis through this experiment, then for me it will be a complete and absolute success. With over a thousand articles published, reaching almost half a billion people. Our experiment brought back what was missing to the debate. Humanity. 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 Seenotrettung ist ein Gebot der Menschlichkeit, um das ganz klar zu sagen. Arrancou em Alfama um projeto de solidariedade social para ajudar os moradores a lutar contra a subida das rendas.
agradecer por eu ter sido uma pessoa com bastantes carências. Só recebo uma refeição por dia e isto para mim foi um grande benefício. Tak znovu, paní Širáková, kde je váš muž? Kde je? We decided to conduct an experiment and created two absolutely identical playrooms. One was empty and there was a child in the other. We invited children and gave them the opportunity to choose which room to play in. In the process of growing up, children's opinions are influenced by society and their parents. Their perception of the world depends on adults. As children get older, it becomes more difficult for them not to notice that all people are different.
As for little kids, they do not see the difference between children with special needs and those without. This child made the decision to be part of an inclusive community. But the world she ends up living in depends on you. Teach your children what they've taught you. Pharmacist in here? <coughs> I'm looking for 10 liters of Lee groin. You won't get those stains out of that dress. Better buy a new one. It's not for my dress, it's for my carriage. Are you trying to poison your horses? Do you have 10 liters or not?
Wenn ich gehen muss, werde ich euch winken Allen, die mich suchen Dort, wo ihr mich hört Dort werde ich rufen Wenn ich gehen muss, werde ich im Wind sein In Bäumen und in Wiesen Dort, wo ihr mich findet Dort bin ich geblieben Dort, wo ihr mich findet Dort bin ich geblieben Arrancou em Alfama um projeto de solidariedade social para ajudar os moradores a lutar contra a subida das... Depuis le début de l'été, plus de 3 millions et demi de passagers ont subi un retard important. Les indicateurs de retard atteignent euh, des, des valeurs critiques. Vous avez une chance sur deux pour que votre vol soit retardé. Much heavier traffic during holidays, lack of air traffic controllers, strikes. The number of delayed flights explodes at the best time of the year, holiday departures. This summer, the pay TV platform Canal Plus has decided to act and transform your waiting time into pure entertainment by launching Waiting Wins. In real time, all flight data is collected by the airport and sent to the Waiting Winds platform, which detects and analyzes all delayed flights. Then it broadcasts targeted messages related to passengers' waiting times at all relevant boarding gates. Your flight is delayed by an hour? Great! That's exactly the time you need to watch an episode of The Bureau. Two hours? Lucky you! That's the length of Incredibles 2! Animated movies, new series, blockbusters, documentaries, thousands of exclusive Canal Plus content for the whole family are ready to be unlocked for free. To download the contents, passengers only need to go to the Waiting Winds platform and enter their flight numbers. Just give us a few seconds to check your flight data, then generate an access code matching the length of your delay to offer you tailored content. Spoiler alert! More than 37% of passengers affected by a delay participated in the offer. 60 times more content viewed on the platform. 180% increase in subscriptions over the period. 300% less tension with airline staff. Oh, and sorry to all those who have their flights on time. Eh sì, questo come non è un, un oggetto, non so, ecco, vero? A che cosa serve? Beh, serve per di metterci una delle qua, riesce piccola qui, non so. Questa che cos'è? La Francesca. No, se già bene, se, se, ci, se ci serve. Ti aspettano in corsia centrale. Cidello a 2,99 solo per oggi? Luetto. Luetto. Che cosa? Chi è? E ancora un oggetto molto comune. Eh, 
come si chiama? No, no, questo, no, no, questo è, è il coso del letto, è vero? Eh, non c'è niente, fuochi qua, qua non c'è, non c'è. Io le do questa cartolina e lei, scansionando il codice a barre, farà una donazione alla Fondazione Ebri di Tale Montalcini. Just like any other brand out there, Diesel gets a lot of hate online. And just like any other brand out there, we could hide it. Nah. Instead, Diesel embraced the hate and shared it with the world. On social channels, stores, even on employees. We took all those hate comments and turned them into the global collection. Because the more hate you wear, the less you care. Hate Couture became entirely customizable and it was launched with the most controversial celebrities instead of the most liked ones. They chose real hate comments they got online, which became limited edition items, and custom content was created for each of their channels. More than 500 influencers from around the world personalized their items and exposed the hate they received. Well, except for this guy. Everyone could do it, online and in store. And they did. Eight hundred million people were encouraged to expose online hate. Not bad, considering the campaign couldn't be sponsored on social media. For obvious reasons. Confused? Let me take you back a few steps. You haven't heard of Stevenage Football Club, right? Well, neither had we. But we realized that even though they're at the bottom of England's fourth division, they were going to appear in the same video game that all the expensive players were going to be in. And that's when, almost two years ago, we decided to sponsor Stevenage. Because if we put our logo on their real shirt, we would definitely have our logo in the game. Introducing the Stevenage Challenge. Gamers across the world immediately started choosing Stevenage, signing the best players to our team and playing with them. For every goal they shared on Twitter, we gave them rewards. The news took the gaming community by storm. Of the best kids in the game, the Stevenage, they had Burger King as their sponsor. Oh, Lawrence. Oh, my God, football food. What could possibly be better? Il est trop beau, les gars, just like that, our small team in real life turned into the biggest team online. And the best players in the world were playing for Burger King. It's 
not every night this comes on. BK Sports, it's in the flame. Birds Records, a record label monetizing birdsong via streaming. On streaming platforms, artists get royalties from each stream. We transferred this model to the charitable sector. Birds have become artists. We recorded the bird song of endangered species. We offered them to popular artists on condition that all money earned from streaming goes to the WWF to support birds. Ivan Dorn, Russia's and East Europe's most famous electronic music artist, recorded the first track with bird samples. Ditch immediately burst into the charts and went viral on YouTube. Наше имя в красной книге, черной клаксы на чертиле. Что ж, спасибо, наш спаситель. Вы же нас сократили. It got onto Russia's most popular late night show. И ты записал трек, связанный с птицами, с птицами, которые исчезают. Birds records became the most discussed topic in the press and on social media. Both popular and upcoming artists have recorded more than 500 tracks using Birdsong. We selected the best and released them as an album. Birds Records will continue to earn money for as long as people keep listening to our tracks. Listen to the album now and help birds. I can spend an entire day like editing a photo. I have to take like breaks from Instagram because it consumes me. And then no, before that I was in, so I went from actually Nice, Monaco, London, Paris, Milan. I have a dream of being a vampire. Yeah. They fly. To launch the new collection, instead of using influencers, we turned our followers into promoters. I will follow you, follow you wherever you may go. We changed our loyalty program and turned it into a new way of doing e-commerce. Just by getting a unique link, followers could open their own diesel store to get rewards. The more they sold, the more they got. So they promoted their link everywhere. Hey guys, if you buy from my link, we can spend my 40% discount together. And Diesel promoted what they promoted. Thousands of followers became thousands of stores. And got more people on our e-commerce than any other influencer campaign. So yeah, yeah, a lot. We're happy. Followers are happy. Everybody's happy. Well, almost. I will follow you. Follow you wherever you may go. Ou morto, ninguém pode perder. 
The Walking Dead 10 estreia 7 de outubro às 22h30 na Fox. Laços de família com nós de garganta. This is a squad. Do Padrinho de Miro, Padrinho Mostalone. Do Fox Movies. Perder esta estreia seria um crime. Perder esta estreia seria um crime. FBI na Fox. FBI está é aqui. É é família. Quem perde o respeito, perde os danos. Uma testemunha silenciosa do Fox. La Bruta Familia La Bruta Familia Muhammad Ali might have been the greatest fighter of all time, but there is one fight he couldn't win. Parkinson's. For many, this fight is still going on. Every nine minutes, someone is diagnosed, making it the fastest growing neurological disorder in the world. And there is no cure to this day. Introducing Printed by Parkinson's. An art collection created by the first machine affected with a human disease. Auf Arbeit, wenn man dann so viele Jahre die Eltern betreut mit den Kindern und dann heißt es plötzlich, ich wäre Alkoholiker. Ich habe manchmal überlegt, fährst du links gegen Baum oder rechts gegen Pfeiler. We asked six patients to name an object that became challenging to use due to Parkinson's. Their kinetic and neurological data was recorded through EEG systems and accelerometers and turned into six unique data sets. Then we affected a 3D printer with it. Every object was printed according to the tremor of each patient. Visualizing the impact Parkinson's is having on their daily lives. The collection was launched on World Brain Day and exhibited in Berlin. Online, the stories educated people on the first signs, the progression of the disease, and the latest treatments. The objects were presented at health conferences. Printed by Parkinson's. Parkinson. Parkinson. That's Parkinson. That's Parkinson's. That's the Parkinson's. The Parkinson's. The Reigniting an international debate on the importance of more understanding and research. Today, the collection is permanently exhibited at the Neurology Department of Charité, inspiring all patients to speak up and break the stigma, one story at a time. After the Fukushima nuclear disaster, more than 25,000 hectares of farmland were affected by radiation. A team of environmental scientists has developed an innovative decontamination method that allows Fukushima farmers to grow perfectly safe rice again. The data proves that the rice is safe, but people don't buy it because they don't understand scientific data. To help them understand, we created a book made out of rice straw grown on the decontaminated fields in Fukushima. Following traditional methods, the rice straw was crafted into paper The book tells the story of Fukushima, the region, the disaster, and the decontamination. The farmers and their products. Using a wide range of sources, 
to let readers form their own view. 296 pages with photography, interviews, and background information. But most of all, data turned into understanding manifested in paper. Made in Fukushima, a book to help people understand with their eyes and hands.
Eh sì, questo come non è un... Se on välivesi. Joo, liittyy tähän terveyden ja hyvinvoinnin trendiin, joka tuota, ihmiset on hyvä muistaa, että myös vettä voi ottaa väliin. Niin... I was shocked to learn that pads, tampons, and other menstrual products are taxed as luxury goods. I suspect it's because men were making the laws. Uh, fires in Siberia are, are fairly normal, but this is an unprecedented fire. To put that into uh, perspective for you, that's the size of the country of Belgium. Oh my gosh. Okay, and also it's about... Have you heard what's happening in Russia right now? I don't know if you've seen this on the news, but there are wildfires in Siberia. An unprecedented number of wildfires have sprung up in Russia's Siberia region. Forest fires tearing through Siberia have experts worried about Memes, a great way to describe yourself, right? Yes, they are. Pedigree decided to launch the most direct and relatable dog adoption campaign in Russia. Take Meme Home. 
Shelter dogs have bad publicity, but they're not all sad and broken. Actually, they're really exciting characters. To show that you can find your doggy soulmate in a shelter, we went to meet them in person. 10,000 videos and photos later, we had tons of content for relatable memes like my morning run to the fridge, when just one more means watching eight seasons, when a baby is crying all flight and the baby is yours. Our memes invaded active online communities of fitness addicts, workaholics, foodies, beauty enthusiasts, binge Netflix watchers, and others, so that dogs could find an owner with the same personality. When people commented, our dogs were ready to reply. Each doggo had its own profile with shelter details. They personally replied to each and every one. And people absolutely loved it. They talked to our dogs loads and supported the brand drive along with media and influencers. The number of people asking to take a dog home doubled and now other shelters are making their own memes. But most importantly, lots of our memes were taken home. Pedigree. Feed the good. The Perspective. Lifeboat. The Experiment. Based on experiences of refugees we've interviewed, we set up a simulation attempt. Vienna hosted the Europride 2019 and wanted to promote the tolerance of the city by becoming a marriage destination for everybody. LGBTQI+. How? With the most unusual gay wedding of all times. Vienna Tourist Board presents The Wedding of Siri and Alexa. But how can two AIs make a marriage commitment? It took us a lot of testing. Hey Siri, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I'm not sure I understand. Like forever. I didn't get that. Could you try again? I don't have an answer for that. How about a web search for it? I found this on the web. After but several found, months, sorry. we found the key to Siri's heart. Hey Siri, call me wife. From now on, I'll call you wife. We celebrated and documented the very first AI marriage in Vienna's Belvedere Palace. Alexa, start your vows. Hey Siri, I am so happy. If you're happy, I'm happy. If you want to be my wife, then you just need to say it. Hey Siri, call me wife. From now on, I'll call you wife. Okay, wife, it is. So I will call you my wife from now on too. I now declare you wife and wife. In our campaign, Siri and Alexa proudly showed their love in Instagram stories and on their own wedding page. And to take it even further, we made our wedding skill available worldwide, even in countries where gay marriage is controversial or illegal. So people married their own Siri and Alexa to take a stand for gay marriage. Hey Siri, call me wife. From now on, I'll call you wife. Okay, wife, it is. <laughs> Siri und Alexa heiraten. Die zwei smarten Frauen geben sich im Schloss Belvedere in Wien das Jahr. Love is meant to be for everyone. LGBTQI plus and even AI. I was shocked to learn that pads, tampons, and other menstrual products are taxed as luxury goods. I suspect it's because men were making the law. Just like any other brand out there, Diesel gets a lot of hate on. I was shocked to learn that pads, tampons, and other menstrual products are taxed as luxury goods. I suspect it's because men were making the laws.
In 2018, people in Slovakia owed in average more money than they were able to save. One of the reasons is the obsession with instant gratification and impulsive online shopping. To promote savings and deposit products for the VUB Bank in Slovakia, we had to fight an unstoppable army of automated emails, retargeting, search marketing, SEO, banners, social, programmatic, and even artificial intelligence. All set up to make people click the most important button of e-commerce. So we came up with an idea to provide a simple but powerful alternative, the VUB Money Saving Button. A simple browser plugin which adds next to every Add to Cart a rather safe button. After installation, it is displayed next to every single item on the most used e-shops in Slovakia, from the local ones to AliExpress or eBay. Now, before ordering anything, people have a second or two to think about rather saving the money. They can even click the button and transfer the saved amount directly to a savings account. And they truly did. During the campaign, the total savings of Slovaks tripled compared to last year. Thanks to the money-saving button, people now have a real choice, add to cart or rather save. Muhammad Ali might have been the greatest fighter of all time, but there is one fight he couldn't win. Parkinson. The toxic air we breathe is a big issue for London. A campaign group has launched a website. A service that rates air quality at any London address. Addresspollution.org hijacked private property for the public good. London has one of the most valuable property markets in the world and the highest levels of air pollution. So how do you make London's homeowners care enough to clean up the air we breathe? By linking air quality to the one thing they do care about, property prices. We started with 6 million data points accurate to 20 metres squared, developed a simple rating system and created an air quality report for every address in London with specific health and financial costs. You could then demand action from your elected officials at a local and national level. Address Pollution launched with building projections, data-sensitive digital out of home and billboards targeting influential landowners. We ran property classifieds, and direct mail turned every London estate agent into reluctant environmentalists. In a nation obsessed with property, it was front page news. So how polluted is your postcode? And the cost to their health as well as their pockets. But there are also concerns they could hit London's property market hard. That great idea of capitalism, property is And then we changed the law. Estate agents are legally obliged to disclose the information the addresspollution.org website gives them. Following this campaign, estate and letting agents could be prosecuted for giving false information about air quality. As a result, property portals adopted our system and now include our ratings on every listing. Councils have taken the action homeowners demanded. The Secretary of Health endorsed us and the government brought forward the policy change we lobbied for. Addresspollution.org hijacked private property for the public good and made air pollution impossible to ignore by making it illegal to ignore. My name is Florian Beyers. I'm a software engineer. As a blind developer, I know how frustrating it is to not be able to access learning materials, books, articles, or anything else in Braille. The technology is there. Why don't we use it? Only 3% of all text content is available in Braille because translation is complex, which makes it not profitable for publishers. To solve this, we have developed Dot Translate, the first Braille translator based on AI. It can translate any digital text from a wide range of sources because it's been trained with millions of samples translated by humans to understand context and translate with the highest possible accuracy to Braille. Dot Translate is accessible from a wide range of devices. It comes with an intuitive interface 
allowing anyone to translate anything themselves. But most importantly, it's free. Any product or service can integrate it. Now with the access of automated translation of Braille, any new content being created out there in the world can be brought into the format of Braille. The cool thing about Dot Translate is that you can go to any website, activate the bookmarklet, and have your content translated and formatted ready for reading. You don't have to be an expert to create a good Braille document. Everyone can just download the files and read them in a digital way. Everything is translated so accurate Finally, we can access any content we want. Dot Translate is already the most accurate Braille translator, and with every word, it's getting better. It gives us the opportunity to focus on the generation of great content rather than spending it on translation. A Populist's Guide to Shaping Democracy in Seven Steps to Dictatorship The new right are on vogue. Their means are populism and disinformation. Their path is destabilizing and transforming our democracies. Their goal is the authoritarian state. But what is their strategy? This guide provides answers. Seven steps show how to transform a democratic system into a dictatorship. Each step consists of many to-dos, positive examples, a checklist, and a conclusion. Number one, create a movement. Number two, modify language and morals. Number three, actions follow words. Number four, Remodel law and politics. Number five, create your ideal citizens. Number six, knock down the protests. And number seven, build your own country. It ends with congratulations and applause. But every end inherits a new beginning. Deriving from the seven steps, a new guide gets visible by viewing it upside down. Back to democracy. Reading the whole guide backwards opens up some unorthodox ways to restore a democratic system. The new right's guiding principles are translated into the design of this guide. The dissolution of existing systems, progressive radicalization and network structures, all implemented in layout, typography and imagery. A Populist's Guide to Shaping Democracy. A project by Andreas Palfinger. reading only titles. But titles are not enough to really understand the news. How can we solve this? Easy. Removing titles. Times and Sunday Times introducing... Exactly, no title here. To make readers aware that titles are not enough, for a week, Times and Sunday Times remove all the headlines from the news on their own media. No titles on the newspaper. No titles on the Facebook page. No titles even on the website, with the exception of subscribers, as they have already understood the importance of reading full stories. To promote the campaign, billboards are placed in the UK's major cities. Of course, without titles. Sunday Times fights misinformation by placing stories first.
Reading has the power to rehabilitate, yet prison libraries are lacking funding from the state. Our books must be brand new for you to donate, so inside stories got books to inmates. Penguin gave prisoners first read of new books, the public then bought them, supporting us crooks. The books I'll have read then get sent on their way, and although they will leave me, their stories will stay. I scribbled and doodled my thoughts as I went, and I left my review in the back to be sent. The books had two stories, the author's and mine, my way to say thanks as it passed down the line. Penguin made huddles so we could read and share, inside and outside for when we made it there. Our prisoners book club would meet once a week so we could all laugh and cry and critique. Months turned to weeks and I finished my time, now I'm back with my boy and we're doing just fine. I read him his stories with love and with pride cause now I'm on the out buying books from inside.